So today it's all about transplanting a few plants, uh, mainly because one is not in the right location and then a couple that um, design wise, I think they will look better in a different location. I am so sorry. The rest of the audio was really bad due to bad background sound. So I hope it's okay that I'm doing a voice recording for you. So this white anise plant is no longer in its right plant, right location after the removal of our shade tree. I was really trying to push it just being a rebel gardener, but I think this plant will do so much better in a shadier, shadier location in the woodland area. So this is the location where I have the Chinese snowball viburnum, but it hasn't done well. And another plant has not done well in this location either. So I'm hoping third time is a charm for this um, plant going in. So cross our fingers that it's going to do really well in this uh, location. With clay soil, which is what I have here, it tends to hold on to a lot of water and you could get root rot. So what you want to do is raise the root bulb one to one and a half inches above the soil line, which has worked out for me. Since I don't have any fertilizer today, I'm using soil conditioner, which is kind of like triple shredded mulch. It'll provide some nutrients along with the fact that clay soil has a lot of nutrients also. So the plants that are being planted today should do really well. So design wise, I think these lemon lime nandinas are a little bit too crowded over here. So I want to move these to the, the other side of the bridge area, which could use uh, some plants there to help another plants um, stand out. So this is the new location for the Nandinas and I was trying to explain that I could arrange them better but due to the drainage pipe running close by I did not want to risk damaging the pipe and I was also explaining why the bridge is in the wrong location because an armadillo or another animal was digging a big hole and covering up the French drain.
Don't you just love it so much better with the Nandinas in the background of this snow day surprise pearl bush? So looking forward to when everything matures. So I decided to plant another Chinese snowball viburnum here close to the other one and together they will serve as an entry way to another garden just ahead um, of them. So I'm looking forward to see how they will do going forward. This is what I call inspirational planting because I was not planning this at all. Next up is this allspice plant and it's going to a shadier spot again because we lost that tree. And here is the new location for it. So I hope it will do so well over here. I was just saying here that these plants should do really well because we would be getting warmer temperatures for the next seven days. And because I don't think the ground really freezes here, maybe worst case scenario, the top one inch. Well, all I have to do now is water all of these in and they should do really good. We're going to get rain tomorrow and then um, and then they should do well. It's going to be pretty um, warm as far as temperatures go. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for coming along on my journey to making a beautiful um, garden in my space here. So until my next video, thank you so much for watching and bye for now. It's -a me, the Mario. Thank you so much for the watching this the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any more content.